Hey there, welcome to another practice photo editing session. In this video, I'm going to be editing this Fullerton sign. So one thing that I will do is actually copy some effects that I created on this last sign photo. Sometimes if you're in the same setting, the same kind of light, you can just copy and paste settings. So to do that, I'm just going to press copy. So Command C, I'm on a Mac. If you're on a PC, Control C. Now this has all the settings that I want to copy. I'm going to start with checking all, then I will choose the ones I don't want to copy. I don't want to copy the crop, spot removal, I didn't even do that, calibration process version, uh, effects, I didn't have any vignetting, so it doesn't really matter, lens corrections, I didn't have any, so it doesn't really matter. The things that I don't want to copy are the local adjustments, and the split toning. Basically, I wanna copy the basic tone changes, the tone curve, clarity, sharpening, color, um, and white balance, Those are and noise reduction. So I'm gonna copy, and I'm gonna go back to my Fullerton photo and just pre press paste, so Command V on a Mac, or Control V on a PC. So it doesn't do a lot, but it does a little bit to make it pop a little bit more. I'm going to do what I did with this other photo of the brewery to make the sky pop a little bit more. So first I'm going to try a graduated filter. So I'm just going to create a graduated filter for the sky. And I'm just going to make sure that the exposure is not crazy. And really what I'm going to do is decrease the color temperature. The problem you see is that this starts to eat into our building. So I don't think that's going to work. So what I'll do is use the adjustment brush to do kind of the same thing. So I'm just going to increase the exposure to know where I am, where I am actually brushing. So I increase the exposure. So I'm just going to paint in the sky. It's a little bit hard to see, but just go over the sky around the building. Not too much of the trees either. So something like that. It's pretty good. Now I'm going to drop that color temperature and the exposure just a little bit. So that's looking pretty good. Again, I don't want it to look unnatural. Something like that. It's pretty good though. Adds just a little bit more information in the sky. I'll increase the contrast a little bit. Also the clarity sometimes good to increase for the sky. I did get a little bit of blue right here. So what I'm going to do is erase. So use this a little erase button right here. Just increase the size a little bit, erase it. So I'm not getting any of that blue or any of these effects on the building itself. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my main photo. And this one I think can really do a little bit of cropping. I didn't do that at the start. Usually I crop at the start, but just to make sure that this Fullerton sign is, is straight and in the middle. So I want it to be really perfectly centered I can kind of see with these grit, this grid if it's straight or not. So something like that is more straight. I'll put it down at the bottom of the frame even more. Something like this. A lot of negative space in the sky. So it doesn't, you know, change the whole... People might not even notice that when they see this for the first time. But um, to me, it makes it look a little bit better. I'm going to really crank the contrast for this image just to see what it looks like. I think this photo of the sign will look good with a lot more contrast, something like that. Now let's just play with the white balance, see what it looks like if the overall all white balance is a little bit more warm. I don't want it to be that cool white that it was before, so I'm just going to make it a little bit warmer, something like that. One thing that I can do and I thought about with this photo is see if black and white would look good. I actually do kind of like the black and white. So I think I'm going to do the black and white. <laughs> so this is what happens when I'm editing. I see something and I uh, am like, oh, well, I can maybe try it like that. And I end up liking it. Since it's black and white, though, I'm going to get, a get rid of a little bit of the sky just because the sky doesn't really add anything to a black and white photo. So just crop it a little bit down further. I want to get these light bulbs in it, though. I think those are kind of some cool details so I will bring back a little bit of that sky something like that and with a black and white photo you can really crank the contrast 
Um, if you want, you can play with the exposure just a little bit, brings out a little bit more detail in this building right here. So if I turn this into color, you can see what it would look like. Still a pretty cool photo. So I might keep both a black and white version and a color version. Um, and you know, again, going back and forth, I might like the color version better. Uh, I already copied the, the noise reduction for this image and um, I can try a little bit of a vignette, see what that looks like. Something like this might make it pop a little bit more. I don't want too crazy of a vignette. But again, a vignette with black and white could look cool too. So if I take this and I really crank this vignette, something like that, it's a lot more stylized, but um, it could be a cool photo. So I'm gonna play around with it. Um, I might keep it with the black and white, might be color, but I don't wanna keep you here too much longer. Um, and yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this lesson. And if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, uh, have a great day.